Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Hanzo Gracie's recent fight and how he got from a very bad position into a great position. So, this video is about, you know, what to do and the few precautions that you can take when you're in a bad position, especially when it comes to self-defense or a situation that involves striking like MMA. So, first, let's get into Hanzo's fight. So, here, uh, I don't know how he got taken down and put into Kesagatame or a side headlock, but he rolled over, hooked the leg, and then got on top of him, and from there he proceeded to do a cross face and really pin him. So this is exactly what happened, or what Hanner explained very briefly, is that you hook the leg that's close to you, and from there you proceed to climb their back. And of course you can take a top position and from there you can do whatever so let's see it here slowly you hook so if they keep their knee here on the ground it's much easier for you to pop your head out as you see here but if they roll flat onto their stomach then you can take the arm into an arm bar or you can cross face or you can do a arm triangle strangle or hold so this is exactly what happened and how Hanzo got to the top now this uh, topic in particular uh, really reminds me of something that happens in judo and that is how breaking a pin. So here you see one of the most fundamental is of breaking uh, scarf hold is to roll away from them and then getting your head out. And this one here you see it often in judo but I want judokas to listen to me that even if you put someone in this half guard you still have your head controlled and self-defense wise or if you want to transition into MMA you're gonna get your head beaten and I want you to always think of your shoulder position neck and head so here Henry Atkins uh, Hanzo I'm sorry uh, Hickson Gracie black belt explains that you tuck your head in and your neck as well you fold it so they would if they want to hit they would hit the hard parts of your head and they're not gonna be as efficient as if you are letting your neck loose where they can actually squeeze it and choke you out or they can beat you so here rotating towards them and posting your shoulder here you can see he squeezes it easily but if you post your shoulder against their uh, omoplate and from there you tuck your neck and chin in it's gonna help you stay safe in a very bad position it's like uh, the falls that we do in judo you know you tuck your chin in it's very important and same here in very bad position so side control is another one uh, you need to make sure that they cannot beat you up so one here is to frame with your hands keeping it under when they're wrapping your head and arm it's another one Hickson talks about but for the sake of this video here you see another one is they can elbow your head and it's the same you keep it you know tight to them and your neck curled and making sure you have close contact and they hit hard surfaces of your head so they make it futile or it hurts them in the best possible possible scenario and of course framing with your forearm on the hip so the old generation all they thought about was self-defense or at least their priority was self-defense even Jigoro Kano said Judo is mostly about creating a better human being and of course fending off attacks. This is will always or this would should always be your priority. Here in the game of Jiu Jitsu, the man thrown must spin round into this position. So any bad position you find yourself in should always be ready, always be on the fence and ready to fight back and defend whether it is guard, whether you're pinned in a bad position, even when you're falling. You take your precautions and learn how to do it properly, self-defense and of course because you want to go back the next day and the next to train with your partners and all of you can get better. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.